Are we available? Are we available not just to God, but to people, to this world? If we look at the Bible in Ephesians chapter 3, we see that there's a mystery that God wants to reveal to this world. It's a mystery, it's an eternal message that God wants to show, his, show the world. In this message, he wants to make all see what is the fellowship of this mystery, which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God, who created all things through Jesus Christ, to the intent that now that the manifold wisdom or the mystery of God might be known by or through the church, us, the people of God, to principalities and powers in heavenly places, according to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus. There's a mystery that God wants to show people. And he wants to use people that already have received this message. And we call those people the church. God wants to use the church to reveal a message. But we have to be in the right place to make that mystery known to the world. It's not an easy message. It's not a popular message today. But nevertheless, it's a message that every person needs to hear, needs to receive. And if they don't receive it, guess what happens? Well, we don't want to talk about what happens. It's not good. But this message is a message of redemption for all mankind to receive. And he wants to use each of us to reveal that message. And so we as the people of God are in the business of other people. And the Apostle Paul understood this. As we look earlier in this, in this uh, chapter, by God's grace and mighty power, I have been given the privilege of serving him by spreading the good news, the good news of this message. And through, though I am the least deserving of all God's people, he has graciously given me the message, me the, the privilege of telling this message to the Gentiles about this endless treasure that is available in Jesus Christ. Now this message is called the gospel of the kingdom. It's the gospel of redemption for mankind. It's the gospel of, of God making his kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven, and he's making that kingdom through people. 